Hello friends. Today I'm going to share an ingenious method for starting fires using a fire seal along with pine and birch. Now these sound like really easy materials to work with, but this is going to give you what I think you're going to find to be a foolproof and very easy to make little device essentially that is going to allow you to get fires even in really, really poor conditions, such as pouring rain. Now I can say this is ingenious because I didn't create it. I was actually out with this fabulous friend of mine who's also a martial arts and a wilderness student, and she came up with this idea in principle. I just refined it a little bit. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to make this uber napalm match that will get you fires when nothing else will. We're going to need a birch tree, an evergreen tree like this white pine, and a fire steel. Collect some dead branches off the bottom of the pine. Dryer is better, but if they still have some bend to them, that's okay. We'll also need some pitch from our pine. Ideally, we're getting pitch that is the texture of soft chewing gum. Get some birch bark. Harvest this off the ground, or if necessary, from the outer layers of the birch. The tree really needs its bark, so be kind. Break the pine twigs into two different sizes. You need three or four longer ones, about eight to 10 inches, and about eight to 10 that are about half that size and of a smaller diameter. Now you have your parts twigs, the pitch, and the birch bark. You're ready to make your uber napalm match. Start by rolling some pitch into a short cylinder. Set the cylinder on your smaller set of twigs and surround it with the twigs. Squish it all together. Don't worry if you get pitch on your fingers. It's going to transfer from your fingers to all of your other materials, making all of them more flammable. That's a good thing in this case. Now add your longer sticks putting them on three or four different sides of the cylinder. Squish again. You've just made a long handle for your match. This is important because it can be a bit dangerous, as we'll see. Now strip your birch bark into some longer strips. Wrap one of them around the cylinder and twigs. Seal it closed with some more pitch. Now you'll need a bunch of small, thin strips of birch bark. Collect at least 20. The more, the better. You want gradiated sizes so that the flames can transfer from thinner bark to thicker bark and produce more heat. You can break off the extra small twig lengths that extend beyond your cylinder. Then start setting the small strips of birch onto your match so that the ends reach just beyond the ends of your twigs. Tuck some extra birch into the twig pitch bundle for added punch. As you work, add pitch to hold the birch strips down. Keep adding more birch.
Once you have a furry end to your match, add one more layer of pitch all the way around to hold things together. Then add a birch wrap. After that, I'm adding a birch layer to the entire match, wrapping it around itself and then securing the end by tucking it through the larger twigs on the handle. Congratulations! Your Uber Napal match is complete. You can make numerous matches and wrap them all in another layer of birch if you want to keep a supply of these fire makers in your kit. Let's see how it performs under some rather adverse conditions. Pro tip, when gathering firewood, don't break it up into pieces as you collect it. Instead, harvest entire dry branches. It's easier to carry them back to camp and many trees are going to give you these dead branches that contain the full range of fire making materials from whisker thin twigs to larger pieces. This is everything you need to start a fire from the tiny little kindling up to larger pieces that will produce significant heat and make a bed of coals. I'm going to make a super crappy fire set here but because I'm using the dead branches from the lower parts of the white pine it doesn't matter. They will easily take from the heat of the Uber Nepal match. Today I am not starting an actual campfire. I just want to demonstrate the transfer of heat and flames from the match to the pine wood. Another pro tip, when using flexible lower pine branches and your fingers are pitch covered, spiral wrap the smaller twigs around the main branch. This will create a piece of kindling that catches easily and neatly transfers its heat to the larger wood. The pitch holds stuff together and adds heat. We're ready to go, but wait, weren't we going to do this under adverse conditions? First soaking. Then a second soaking. We're getting our firewood and our uber napalm match drenched. Now we're setting the match handle side up and hitting it with our fire steel. First let's put some metal under there and give it a few lighter hits to dry things out without igniting the shavings of ferrocinium that we've deposited. Then we'll give it some stronger blasts. Wow, it went out. Even birch bark, if drenched, won't always hold a flame. But we've added pitch to the mix, which gives it a superpower. The flames from the birch just have to melt and ignite a little pitch, and we'll have unstoppable flames. Sorry about my angle, I'm solo filming here. A few seconds later and the Uber Napalm match is producing some major heat. Even drenched, you can see the pine kindling easily starts on fire. Notice the handle of the match sticking out from the fire? This allows you to take the handle and move the flames around inside your fire set if necessary. I'm going to put out the little fire set and show you what's going on with the Uber Napalm match. It's still burning with significant heat. and dropping burning droplets of flame. Do not get these on your skin. They will create very nasty burns. These matches are not meant to be held up like this, but I wanted to demonstrate to show you what's going on. That pitch is long burning, hot, and spreads out from its main source. Note how long this little twig has been burning without the wood actually burning through. Thanks my friend. Let me know if you give this a try. Hopefully it will enrich your wilderness experiences.